Bagaimana menurut kalian sahabat official baik yang muslim maupun yang Kristen jika ada seorang apologet muslim masuk ke dalam gereja untuk memperkenalkan ajaran Islam akan tetapi malah disambut dengan penampilan seorang pendeta cantik semacam ini. Not as many. <laughs> There is an exact number actually. Pastor. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot, by the way. I thought you knew all the answers, right? No. Kita ambil positifnya saja ya, dan tentang bagaimana cara menjadi seorang apologet Muslim yang benar. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh sahabat official Alhamdulillah Rosalba masih kembali untuk membersamai kalian tentunya untuk menyajikan hiburan rohani dan menambah ilmu serta wawasan kita semua Banyak sekali saudara kita umat Islam yang menjadi apologet akan tetapi belum tentu melakukannya dengan cara yang benar Nah kita bisa meniru apologet muslim yang satu ini yang memperkenalkan ajaran Islam di dalam gereja Kalian penasaran bukan? Mari tanpa berlama-lama kita simak video selengkapnya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I start in the name of God, the most beneficent and the most merciful. And greet all of you with the Islamic greeting. Who knows what is the Islamic greeting? It is in Arabic. Assalamualaikum. Huh? Wa alaikum You got it. All right. I'm impressed with our pastor. Very good. Thank you. I was asking him this question, you know Zaid, we are going to this church and all of them, they believe in the Bible. Uh, what do you think that we can say to them are the commonalities between Islam and Christianity? And he gave an amazing answer. Let me see if all of you would come with some amazing answers, all right? <laughs> Let's take a look. Who would like to take the shot? What do you think are some of the commonalities? Yes, ma'am. Ishmael. Ishmael. You want me to smile? <laughs> Just joking. What other commonality that you think Muslims and the Christians that we have? Yes. All right. Very good. Right. So I would I would start off with the same creator, and the reason is this: we are not atheists, we are not agnostics, we are God believers. So when it comes to you know worshiping uh, or having a higher power, so we say that there is a higher power. So what do you think is the name of God in the Arabic language? Allah. Allah, right? So when we say that Allah is the creator, we are not worshiping a different God. Allah is not the God of uh, the Arabs or the Middle Eastern people or uh, the Indian, the Pakistani, the Bangladeshi. We say that Allah is the universal God in the Arabic language. Just like in the Spanish language, what is the name for the creator? Dios. Dios. How about in Hebrew language? Yahweh, Jehovah, Elohim. How about, um, let's say, the language of Jesus? What was his language? And what do you think is the name of God in that language? Aramaic, Aramaic language, yes. So according to Encyclopedia Britannica, the language of Jesus was Aramaic. And what is the name of God in that language? No. Something else. Something else. How about Ilah or Allah? Very close to the word Allah. Nah, jadi seperti itulah cara apologet Muslim ini menjelaskan bahwa pencipta itu adalah Allah dan Tuhan yang dipanggil oleh Yesus dengan sebutan Allah dalam bahasa Aramaik. Allah atau Allah adalah maha pencipta manusia. Jadi jika ada Kristen yang mengkaplingkan bahwa Tuhan hanya milik orang Yahudi Israel itu tentunya salah besar. Sebab kita ini semua adalah manusia yang berasal dari Tuhan yang satu yaitu Allah. Apologet seperti inilah yang kita tiru. Walau ditertawakan tetap saja Beliau serius menjelaskan ketersambungan tiga agama yang mendominasi dunia. Namun malah disambut 
oleh pendeta cantik yang memamerkan auratnya. So, oh, oh, concept of giving charity. Yeah, charity to the less fortunate. Yes. What do Muslims do five times a day? We also follow Jesus. It says something similar in the in the New Testament. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 26 verse number 39, you can get a lifeline if you want. <laughs> You're taking a guess now, <laughs> which is okay, <laughs> which is okay. Um, you just told me recently. <laughs> okay, there you go. Right? Somebody just told me recently that there was someone, I don't remember where they were from, but they came and they signed up for the Civil War two weeks after they came to this country. Oh, wow, <laughs> and <they were> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Actually, bukan main ya. Pendetanya saja tidak peduli auratnya kelihatan dan ditonton oleh banyak orang. Pendeta-pendeta seperti ini di gereja Indonesia pasti laris manis ya, sahabat official. Para jemaatnya menjadi betah mendengarkan khotbahnya dengan penampilan yang seksi semacam ini. Lalu, apa yang dipertanyakan oleh pendeta ini kepada sang ustaz? Mari kita simak bersama-sama. Means we will not take a human, an animal, a the sun, the moon, the plant, the trees, the creation, but we will only take the one Creator as our Lord and Savior. Then Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the Prophet of God. Just like prophets came before him, we will take Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the last and the final prophet and the role messenger. So that is how a person formally embraces Islam. By their own choice, once they know that Islam is the truth. So that is the very first pillar. The very beginning. <gasps> How do you know? Somebody just told me recently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <There you> go. <laughs> right? Somebody just told me recently that there was someone, I don't remember where they were from, but they came and they signed up for the Civil War two weeks after they came to this country. Oh, wow, and they were <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Actually, according to New York Times, the very first Muslim to come to the U.S. Uh, well, there was no U.S. that time. It was uh, 1529. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. approximately 500 years ago. So I usually joke around and say, when Muslims were already here, when your grandparents came from Europe, <laughs> right? <laughs> Muslims were helping. Okay, so Muslims living here for about five centuries, there have been many, many contributions that Muslims have done. And I usually say that there are more Muslims with the names of the Jewish prophets than all the Jews of the world combined. Okay? <laughs> Look at that fact, right? Look at that fact. Knowing that fact, it makes us a bit closer compared to the tensions that we have up there. Itu artinya muslim di Amerika sudah ada 500 tahun yang lalu ya Bahkan pendeta saja tidak mengetahui hal ini Dan malah memframing bahwa muslim datang ke Amerika karena perang saudara Itu pun infonya ia dapatkan dari orang lain Nah bagaimana menurut kalian sahabat official tentang pendeta ini? Jika di Indonesia sudah tamat riwayatnya dimakan oleh jemaatnya sendiri. Alright, last but not the least, the way for salvation in Islam is that we say that this life is a short life, one day every person has to die, like people they passed away before us. But that is not the end of our existence. According to Islam, every single person would be brought back to life. There would be a day of resurrection and a day of judgment. اللهم إني أسألك بأني أشهد أنك أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت أنت الأحد الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد